The Skateboard Watchtower Movie Review is brought to you by... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Skateboard Watchtower Movie Review. Movie Review. You're, you're getting better, dude. Just you, you're relaxed. Well, I love. He's relaxing. He's getting all excited. I'm in my house. Why yeah, am I not like, Oh yeah, we're, yeah. He's actually donated his house for these shots. So. <laughs> And why wouldn't I? Yeah, man. It's a it's a museum of uh, cinema. I mean, yeah, really, it's like a museum of drinks, and you ain't poured me nothing yet. Either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. We are actually going to do a, a great western movie that was done back in when the nineties, the early nineties, and uh, well, and, and, that, and really, that was. wasn't. You know. That's funny because that was a time period for a lot of historical dramas. If you think about that, because you had Braveheart, mm -hmm. um, you had Braveheart, you had um, Tombstone, Tombstone, uh, Rob Roy. Uh, a lot of things had come out with with time period piece. Uh, yeah, time pieces, period pieces. So I mean, because and but I gotta say now, what? what we're getting ready to do is probably. I yeah. love Rob Roy. I love Braveheart because of my Scottish heritage. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then again, I love my westerns and I love my history. Yeah. And I gotta say, this movie right here. This was tells it about eighty nine percent of the way it was. There was some very the most quoted movie or uh, the most quoted movie quotes in history. I'm your Huckleberry. I'm your Huckleberry. Uh, Say I mean, when all kinds of things. Yeah, and oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, the classic gunfight and drink cup shootout. I mean, it's just... It is. <laughs> <laughs> Val Kilburn should have won an Oscar. Yes, he should have won an Oscar for playing Doc Holliday. I think he was the most accurate Doc Holliday. Because, I mean... I don't know if he was the most accurate Doc Holliday. He was close. He was close. But he done a good job as far as bringing out his own character. Yeah, yeah. And, and it was and, a unique yeah. character. And not only it. that, you know, he, he pulled off the southern accent because Doc Holliday. Like Georgia, he, yeah. he did do a good job on that Georgia and, accent. And he also, just his mannerisms really spoke to a lot of what he, Doc Holliday that, did. I that mean, dental yeah. doctorate thing that he learned how to do. And yeah, he and, took, it's like he took that into that. Yeah. It married into that Western, yeah, yeah, that Western yeah. thing. And it, but what I love about the whole thing, I mean, we know we, we also know that it's not actually correct in a lot of a lot of stuff. Lot yeah, of stuff it's about correct. like I said, it's about eighty nine percent accurate. About eighty nine percent. What we do know, what we do know is um, these four characters. I mean, you couldn't ask for for. Uh, I mean, the whole movie's an all star yeah. cast. I mean, you've got Michael Bean as Johnny Ringo. Johnny Ringo. And, and we all know that that the the thing with John Ringo and Doc Holliday never never happened. That was yeah, one thing that never yeah, happened. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But then the next and one of my favorite guys that I like to watch was Bill Paxton. Bill yeah. Paxton, I think, is one of the most he was underrated. The most, he was the most laid back and charismatic. But he was the most forward. underrated actor. Yeah, uh, and the man can act. I oh mean, yeah, was, I mean, uh, look and at I mean, in, in, in the second uh, in Aliens, Aliens, and I mean, you everybody quotes that guy. Game over, man. Game <laughs> over. And also, he was in the uh, original Terminator. He was one of the hoodlums. Yeah. And then Apollo 13. He played uh, Fred Hayes in Apollo 13 and did a fantastic job. And I mean, he 
really was a great actor. And uh, God rest his soul. I mean, he's and, and I mean, and, and see some of the work. Cause I actually saw one of the works he actually directed, uh, which was uh, consistent with Matthew McConaughey in uh, I think it was called French. Yeah. And you know, the hand of God character. So I mean, and I and that was a great movie. Is and it also we'll have to do that. and Twister and Twister? Yeah, he was the, he and became Twister, the leading man. Lead, yeah. That was the lead uh, man. I mean, and then of course, then of course, I mean, you can't think of a western without seeing the mustache. Oh, 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 the oh. mustache. Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott. <laughs> I mean, Sam. <laughs> I mean, and, and, and it's and he had that gruff voice. Yeah. And, that I mean, voice. Everybody. I mean, that voice just speaks volumes. And I mean, I mean and he looks good in a cowboy hat. And yeah, he, but I mean, he looks good in the biker clothes too. See, I mean, he's always when you I, say, mean, I mean, it, when it, the movie he played with uh, he Roadhouse, played, Roadhouse, but the one before that were um, was Cher and uh, Mask, Mask, where he, you know, he excellent part to take that one. Yeah, and not only and, that, uh, I mean, he plays these very much. Um, I, I, uh, the only thing him and Tom Selleck was almost brothers because they actually yeah. acted like brothers. Yeah, and then brothers. also they played in Ghost and uh, uh, Shadow Riders. Yeah, the Shadow mm-hmm. Riders, and then uh, a couple other movies. But the thing with him was, is he always played these maternal roles in a lot of ways. He became, as in uh, Roadhouse, he was the very maternal character towards Patrick Swayze. No, he was maternal. I think he was paternal. Paternal, the father. Yeah, yeah the father, not the it's, mother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, the father. Mispronunciation, yeah. but um. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> but he played the father figure in a lot of films just because he, he demanded this, you know, mature, aged person. He'd seen things. Mm-hmm. And in Tombstone, it's no different. I mean, he plays the he matriarch. He plays the older brother. He plays the matriarch of uh, the family. And patriarch he plays the patriarch. Patriarch, yeah. patriarch of the family. Let's get that and Let's get that out of the way. I hate for Sam to come break through that door. <laughs> what you say? What? But he plays... Sam! <laughs> I'll let you be for then we'll sit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but you know, that's the thing. He plays that character off so well because oh, I mean he 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 picks up the mantle of being the town marshal. He doesn't and yet his brothers tell him don't do it, don't get involved. You know, this but, is trouble. Like, again, yeah. again, that's part of this that's not actually the rhythm because he's already been played. He was already being in law enforcement. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he he was kind of uh, so, white was just and afterwards after he lost the use of his arm. He became he was, a sheriff again. He was, he, and, you know, so he's pretty much was law enforcement all this. Yeah, a lot. Uh, yeah, yeah. Got out of the military. And I mean, that's the thing. He was, you um, know, and and now let's let's get to Wyatt to to to, to Wyatt. And probably the most photo accurate and, and, and this character <laughs> and, and the gentleman that played Wyatt Earp. He didn't play Wyatt Earp lawman, he played Wyatt Earp human being. I mean he played Wyatt Earp as a human. Uh, he didn't This spit is one and thing to work this is one thing because I read the book. Uh and actually the book tells you more of, of what happened. And sadly, that's the sad thing about yeah. about movies and, and, and books. The book's going to tell you a little bit more of what happens. If you haven't read the book, read the book. Yeah, because book. it fills in some of the spots yeah, that you have. Yeah, it fills in a lot, yes. But the thing that, 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 that I liked about Kurt Russell playing Wider is he studied. Yeah, the oh, character. oh gosh, he studied. He studied. studied, what, he studied and he actually ended up directing the movie because there was some some conflicts between the cast and, and the director directed. and the producer got involved into it and the producer uh, finally stepped in and relieved the director and Kurt Russell took stepped over in. And, I mean, he just, and just led that whole and I mean thing to work to work the, it's the success that it is today and uh, spoiler alert I think the best scene with him one of my the, the scene that gives me the cold chills and actually there's two of them the one where he's in the train station, uh, and he scares the right. crap out of um, out of uh, Ike Clinton, and you tell him the law is coming. Uh, you tell him, uh, you tell you tell him that hell's coming, uh, or, or that I'm coming and, and hell's coming, coming with me. You. you hear me? You hear? <laughs> hell's coming with me, and you feel that man's vengeance Just, in that voice. I mean, yeah. he is. But no, to, and then to look the up and then that, the lake. Yeah, I mean, but you know, you think about the real life white earth and what he went and what, through. What they went through now, and there's a lot of controversy. I understand a lot of controversy that yeah. things 
you know, but unfortunately we don't we wasn't there. We can only go on yeah. with what we 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 hear. Yeah. But we have written in history. And we've doctored so much stuff up about him just through conjecture. Yeah. And it's you know, you can't really judge on that any more than anything else. No, because I mean if I'm put in that situation or if anybody's put in that situation, what would you do your family's being attacked? But at the same time, what would the other people do if you was doing it back to them? Right. And, it, and, and that's basically and, what we have with the whole history. Well, these guys and, were doing this to the Clantons, and the Clantons, was, you know, they were my well, And the well, thing, we, and, we had that whole thing still going on to this day with, with you know, all over the the, yeah. the, the country. So, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So my I mean, thing is, is Tombstone, first of all, is it, is it real? And I'm going to say... Like I said, it's about eighty nine percent real. I'm going to say seventy percent. Seventy percent of it is, is right on the money. Yeah, yeah. Now there has been some things that well, Doc Holliday would never have said, "I'm your Huckleberry." Yeah, he would. But we have written documentation that from other people said that yes, that is exactly what he said. And people don't get well. What is I'm your Huckleberry? If you ever read Huckleberry Finn, that <laughs> book was in mass populous at that time for a while. <laughs> um, and so it, and, it, it was and, just the same. And also, and I mean, like, you're a daisy if you do. Yeah, you're a daisy. And that was one of the, the idioms back then. Well, you know, if you do. Well, you're, if you a daisy, do it, you're, you're a daisy. You're a daisy if you can do it. <laughs> you're a daisy if it's, you do it. It means yeah. you're exceptional. And I mean, yeah. that was slang at the time. And I mean, um, and also. You and gotta, unfortunately, that's where, where we mess up for today because we're so, we're so into our, our modern information system that. We think we're smarter than our people from the past. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, right. And, and you know, well, they never, you know what? We have written documentation that's on paper. Not on computer, but it's on paper. Now, you can get to it from the computer, but people don't want to take time and go study and find out. Yeah, and that's exactly. why. But, and there's a big, big reference that you were taught in history class. And it was at the first day, day one of history class, or day one of school. History repeats itself. So, and unfortunately, that's what it's doing. Yeah. And and I'm and, and I'm just saying. I mean, Tombstone is one of those movies that it's not only a historical account of things. It's also just a western that we don't get to it's see nowadays. Entertainment, first of all, let's yeah, put it was yeah. it entertainment yeah. based on an actual thing. That now we know that the the what they called a gunfight at the OK yeah. Corral was not actually at the, the OK, OK Corral. Corral. It was. <laughs> Down the street, well, we understand that it was just called that because that was the lo the 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 only, uh, the only landmark, the only landmark, landmark they had to go by. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's like, oh, well, here it is. And, and it Red was Street. over in twelve seconds. It was, it was over it in was twelve. Quick. Yeah. yeah, it was quick. I mean, um, I mean, so I mean, if you get a tombstone, you can actually go there and see where the actual fight yeah, actually took place. And it's the OK Corral is actually the street over and down. Or, or up yeah, from, and, and not so only that, I mean, there was so much about that whole don't situation. Don't get your daisies in the upload. <laughs> and of course, I'll tell you, one of the things I loved about that movie, one of my favorite things is Doc Holliday twirling the, the coin in his fingers, how he did the whole... <laughs> that right there, just he's just sitting at the table and he's like... <laughs> But again, I mean, you know, we'll take a look at, I mean, they, they had him played off as, I mean, like I said, I wish they'd actually had, had played it off better with with Johnny Ringo, since Johnny Ringo actually did not go up against these guys. But Johnny Ringo was actually killed by somebody else. And, and he was just a, and he was just a drunk uh, gunfighter. Yeah. He, he was good, but he was a jerk. Yeah, yeah, but, he was good, but he was a jerk. But, he never, you think ever took place with them. Now the Clantons and the stuff, if they would have played it off more and brought an actual somebody in it, actually, then it would have been more busted. But for Hollywood purposes and for people, they want it was to a get, pretty, it was a decent yeah. movie. Exactly. Anyway, and from from one, let's do five stars. Okay, so from from zero to five. No, let's do from one, from one to five stars. What would you rank it? I'm going to give it, I want to give it a five, because I enjoyed watching it. I was a kid when this came out. Okay, five on, because you said enjoy, so we'll give it a five on entertainment. Now, as, as far, far as, as history. History, I'm going to give it a three. Give it a three, okay. Because there were some aspects that were right on, uh, and then there I, were I'm others that weren't. Uh, I'm going to say this, because like I said, it's because I've read the book yeah, right, as right. well, so, as well. 
I'd get five star for entertainment. Right. But it was very entertaining. It had you hooked. Oh. You, and, you I mean, and, well, and I mean, that scene where you see Wyatt at the river, him saying no, no. And, and that actually didn't take place either. Because no, no, he no. was actually on a drive, a drive bed above the water. So when he... He actually caught Curly surprise by he, or Curly Bill by surprise and cut him in half with a shotgun. <laughs> I mean, but that's because they caught each other by surprise because they yeah, wasn't yeah. expecting and uh, White and them to come up on the water hole where they was at. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And I mean, uh, and so for that, I can say, I give it a five for entertainment. I give it. I'm gonna give it a three and a half for as far as reality. Exactly yeah, because, because it got the three and a half. It, okay. was, it was close, it was close, but, close. But the, I mean, the, the writers and the, the, I mean, they took they they took their, they took what worked and and, so their, and, and, and there's and a thing that's called uh, that we used it. It's called artistic, artistic license. license. Okay, and that's what they used, and it worked because the movie was a great movie. Oh yeah, I mean, so I and and when I first saw it, now as far as popcorn. Popcorn sitting down at the movie, man, eating the... You gonna give this a popcorn? Ten. You gonna give that ten. You know what? I'm gonna give it a ten, too. That's a twenty. That's a twenty. No That's a top it. of our list right there. So, there you go. So, you got a popcorn award of twenty. And also, I mean, it was at a time when westerns were not very popular, too. Like westerns had kind of but, backed uh, down by that, and when this came back up, there was actually quite a few westerns after too. You also too. had coming in, in competing with this one was Wyatt Earp itself with Kevin Costner, yeah, yeah. which that, was an excellent movie, mm -hmm. and it was based on the majority of it was based on some of the, the had some, some things, yeah, but yeah. at the same time, it wasn't. This was built more entertainment and, and yeah, just yeah. getting a little the history of facts out there. And or White Earp, Kevin Costner, was meant was based to be more on fact. the real life of, yeah. of what he went through. Something and you had through. characters that you so. didn't see in Tombstone, like Bat Masterson. Um, you had Bat Masterson. You had people like um, yeah, you didn't because this is what's about. It's about Tombstone. Yeah, where White Earp was about yeah. White Earp's whole life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this was happened. What well, happened to Tombstone? And you know what? But what I love, oh, Billy Bob Thornton. <laughs> And I mean, I, wanted, I that, didn't recognize him to start with. I said, look, double take. Pick up that on. smoke wagon and, and go to uh, work. Up, yeah, he said, know. throw down, boy. And uh, you're going to sit there you're going to bleed. You're going to sit there you're just going to bleed. <laughs> I mean, and then just grabs him by the ear and jerks as, him out. And I mean, but it all, and, and that is written. In, there is some stuff for that. I mean, between I him, mean, between, there was a thing between him and, uh, and Doc Holliday. So. I, want, I, want, I want to throw this out. The Bunt Line Special. Okay, that gun, it's cool to think of, and it's cool to even think it was real. It's not real. No yeah, there's lines. no way you could use that gun in a gunfight. It was that long, and it was unwieldy as heck. And, yeah, and, and uh, even the witnesses there say that he didn't even, he, that they, he used the cold peacemaker. So yeah, I mean, he used the cold peacemaker, um, and I mean, that's the thing. You I mean, know, so, but, but again, it's got a 20 for Popcorn Award, yeah. and it's got a... Three and a half for accuracy. Three and a half for accuracy for me. Three for you. So that's six and a half. So that's six and a half for the accuracy. It's and then we have... Entertainment-wise, it's got a wise, ten. Five for me, five from him. I mean, it's a, a total ten. So and I mean, and not only that, when you go to and sit down and watch it, they even got, in the beginning of that movie, people don't mention this, I think it was Robert Mitchum's voice. Yeah. Robert Mitchum does narrate yeah. the beginning, the beginning and, and, the end. and he has that great voice for that. And I mean, he's just like, get that deep, yeah, get that. And I mean, it's just like that is so cool. And then they show that great uh, uh, old. Um, well, don't give the one. Don't give it. Go yeah. watch. It. Yeah, go, go watch, watch it. Go watch. This is what it is right here. Right here. Tombstone. This is the White Bird. Yeah, go around. It. Hey, yeah. if you're in Marion, North Carolina, actually, you can. You don't have it. You can go pick it up at, at, at Game Store and, and, and more. more. All right. Love, peace, peace and, and chicken, chicken grease. grease. Love ya.